When it comes to seascape photography, you should always check your tides. That's what we're going to do on this week's episode. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Darren, I'm an outdoor photographer and based here in beautiful Ireland. And welcome to Rocky Bay. Now Rocky Bay is an area that I haven't been to actually in around maybe two years. So if you're new to the channel, you haven't seen this stunning beach that we have here along the coast of Cork. Now I've come here for the late afternoon for sunset. The clouds look like they're going to play ball. The weather forecast I do think is going to be right. But the key thing when it comes to seascape photography is always do your research and always plan. So this is an example of a beach that if you come here at high tide there is nothing to photograph but also it's quite dangerous. So from my point of view I came here this afternoon just to check it and I'd show you the footage that I got here because the water was right up past where I am at the moment and if you hadn't planned it and you came here to take some shots you You'll be very disappointed. Now at the moment the tide is going out and I have some incredible wave action as well so I'm going to start by getting my first shot over here by utilizing these rocks and try and get some foreground interest and then hopefully as the sun will settle down I get a bit of color in this sky but this entire beach if I walk here to give you a look is absolutely incredible. Look at this beauty all around me. So yeah I'm excited about today let's see how we go. Now to start me off what I decided to do was to try and utilize the sea foam which is all over the beach. Now that's because we had a big storm here for the last couple of days and now we're seeing the aftermath of that but you can see it all coming in around me here and what I'm doing just like right now is I'm waiting for the water to come in and then I'm taking a shot as the sea foam is just reaching me and I think that's going to be a nice shot. It's certainly anyway going to be different settings at the moment actually here. I'll tell you now once I get this shot. Settings at the moment here I'm at um, 1 13th of a second I'm at f11 and I'm just waiting now for the water to come up and then to go back out again it's quite unusual I suppose to have the sea foam I might as well try and utilize it as part of my composition anyway um, here as well this beach is phenomenal it's known as Rocky Bay it's a bay full of rocks but it can change with every single tide now I've been here and there's been no rocks visible because the storm would have brought lots of sand up so probably maybe up to here would have been the height of the sand. Now that's obviously retreated back down. But as you can see behind me here, there's some incredible motion in the water. And I'm going to venture closer to the water's edge uh, in a moment over here towards these rocks and hopefully I'll be able to catch a couple of shots then with a nice foreground interest as well there and then with the water as well breaking in the distance. Even at the moment here, the way I have this, you've got all of these angles and I'm using a rock as well on the left hand side to kind of anchor the frame. There's a bit of green algae on that but it's also the foam as well. So I think that's going to be nice too. The sky should be interesting this evening. Uh, the forecast is that it should be nice anyway. Uh, it's looking like it will be. I've got clear above me and that's moving that direction towards you, so behind you. So hopefully it blows all these clouds over towards this area and we get a gap on the western horizon and then the sun can break through. Because if the sun breaks through here, I think even looking at all of that out here, look at those waves, those catching in light would be absolutely incredible. So yeah, here's my first set of shots anyway here now and I'll talk, you, talk to you again once I get back to down here where I'm going to go next.
over slightly here um, and I'm using more of those rocks that would have been in the frame earlier on but now I'm putting them more prominent as the foreground interest. What I like about here is the seaweed that's on the rocks I think gives some great texture and there's a flow of water from a rock pool as well that's just below you here that's rolling out this way. Now with the sea foam as well it is a very interesting subject let's just say to have within the image because that's not necessarily always here so I'm trying to utilize that and then waiting for a wave just like this one now to come in and when that comes in then it will move that around as well and give me a slight difference in regards to the image. The sky is looking promising uh, if I come this way here you should see the Alta behind me that the sky is looking nice and promising so fingers crossed it does um, work out. Here is the next shots anyway now at the moment here settings are uh, one tenth of a second f13 I have no filters on and I'm at ISO 50. Now I will be putting on filters and it's a nice big wave here now so I will be putting on filters um, to be able to catch some differences in the shots but even on that one here now taking a number of different photographs as the water is coming in I know it's going to give me some different shots right now it's full of that sea foam and now it's going to start retreating back out again and then I start getting some nice streaks and movement within those as well so yeah definitely something of interest here I think I get some nice shots taking multitude of shots anyway here I'll give you a look at the ones that I like and then we'll move on from there next Now, like I said, one of the things I love in relation to this uh, beach is the amount of rocks that are there. And since I've arrived, there's been a set of rocks now that have been exposed. And at the base of those, we've got some of this white sea foam as well. So I'm taking a shot where I'm framing that up using the sea foam as a base. Then I've got these rocks that are pointing at an angle out this direction. And then waiting for the water to either come in or come close enough in relation to it. Now, the tide is going out. So the importance of tides is to be aware is how fast it's going to go out. Like I said, these rocks have been revealed since I've arrived and I'm not here maybe 30 minutes um, and it's going to continue out further but the advantage for this beach is that the further it goes out the more rocks as well that it starts to reveal. This shot I think I like and also I got another shot too uh, of the sea foam predominantly taking up the frame with a, another rock as well within that so I'll give you a look at both of these shots now and I'm going to head over this direction here there's a lot of sea foam that I'm going to be walking through and hopefully I can get over and find a couple of nice uh, foregrounds as well before this light will kick off. Give me a look at those, check back in in a moment.
have a look at all of this sea foam that's after been blown up onto the cliffside and over here as well I think it's quite interesting because it's all here but now it's going back out as well so there's a set of rocks that are here I'm going to go into the mix I'm going to see if I can get a shot from there by utilizing this quite unusual sea foam I suppose within the shot I don't know it may work it may not work it's always good to experiment anyway but I think I will get some nice light now because I can start to see light hitting a ship that's over here on the horizon I don't know if you can pick it up on this camera but there's a ship on the horizon here that's lighting up as well so yeah looking good now, obviously depending on what's happening in the west but yeah I'm going to go down here now and see if I can try and make a silk purse out of a sow's ear as the Irish phrase would go um, so yeah check back in once I get down there wind is blowing ridiculous amounts of sea foam in towards me here my idea to go down to this rock uh, over here you can't even see it because of the amount of sea foam that's over it so I scrapped that idea but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on my 7200 it's something I've said I wanted to do quite a lot more of is to use that so I'm going to zoom in on this rock here um, and I'm going to separate that out from a long exposure point of view I think it might be nice I don't know um, but if I zoom in and just fill the frame as much as I can with that with this flowing white around it and then that touch of color that I'm starting to see in the sky I think it will be a nice shot so yeah I'm going to change up my lens now I'm going to uh, set up the shot and I'll check in then once I get that oh this wind man is really picking up so I've put on my uh, long lens here and I've moved actually now to go handheld with the video camera but yeah I've got my long lens on uh, here I won't say off my face but yeah here you go got the long lens on here and I'm now focusing on this rock as you can see here in front so with the camera here there is my composition and I'm just isolating that rock I'm getting a two second exposure now I've got no filter holder for my um, long lens with me so I decided just to do a test I'm going to whack up the aperture to f32 of all things which is probably going to give me an absolutely huge amount of diffraction in the image but I'm going to see how it looks anyway in relation to it but I think it will be interesting because this here will be nice because I'm isolating that with the water as well that's flowing around it. Give you a look at it now and then we'll see what else I find as we go on. side of the beach and I'm up on a rock here because the waves that are coming in are pretty much going to cover me like we see uh, right now here but what I've done is I've put on my six stop and what I'm effectively doing is this is going to dominate the frame which is this big rock here you can bother just see in the bottom of your screen and the water is curving in around on both sides in relation to it there's some great textures as well and some moss on the uh, cliff face and then with the rolling waves in the distance I think they'll be nice shots I'm at three and a half seconds at the moment f7.1 ISO is at 100 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait and hopefully it'll be nice timing because the water will be retreating out and there's some beautiful curves and some shapes in this actual rock by the cliff face here um, and I think that's going to be really really nice now this water is coming in and it's actually around you at the moment hopefully you don't fall I'm ready to catch you no it hasn't fallen okay but now I'm going to catch 
that as it goes back out then as well so yeah i think overall here this is going to be really nice totally unusual with all this sea foam that's dancing around me but nonetheless i'm happy with uh, the shots that i'm getting so far and we're not even in any nice light yet so yeah here's this check back in again in a moment Okay, so I'm venturing down here and I'm going to use the comfort, I suppose, really, of this rock that I'm standing on because um, the water is coming in still quite high. Sorry for the view of my backside, but I just want to get the shot uh, set up. So I have these incredible textures that are all lining around the rock face here beside me. And that's probably going to form the majority of my composition. I'm going to point the camera face down so I get little of the sky. The don't know if I'm going to get any sunset. I might still, I don't know, it's still bright enough out to see here, but I'm waiting for a wave just like this one here now to come in and hopefully I'm high enough. And what I'll do is I'll take the shot like right now when the water's coming in and that's going to be flowing below me. And then I'll have the texture on the rock on the right hand side and then this water flowing in. And I'm also going to catch it now as well as it flows out. Settings at the moment still at 3.2 seconds, which I think would be nice. Give me that nice movement within the water. But yeah, this is this one anyway here with all of this texture. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to wait and see do I get any uh, light towards the end of the day to reward me. But I still like this shot anyway here. I'm going to check it now for sharpness and exposure time and everything else as well. And once I get that right, as Gavin would say, if it's any good, here's the shot. Well, not only did my arch nemesis, the cloud on the west, block all my light, but I decided that I wanted to try and go find one of these caves that are along here. I thought I had the timing just right. I almost had it just right. Maybe another 15 minutes, but there's no light now to be able to get a shot that's there. But nonetheless, definitely something for the next time. Anyway, I've got two wellies full of water, so I need to drain those out. I'm going to finish up this episode. Thank you very much, as always, for joining. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If it's your first time on the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schlong the fall.